Hello everyone, my name is Anish Rana and today you are watching Kubernetes web series. Today we are going to cover one interesting topic that is how Kubernetes allocate hardware resources to pod and how process ID of containers work separately. Before jump into this topic, let me remind you that Kubernetes core components and how to create Kubernetes cluster videos are already uploaded on my channel. If you have not watched those videos, then you may click on the I button. Just beside this, subtitle for different languages such as English, French, Russian and German is available for this video. As of now, we have understand that there are eight components of Kubernetes cluster. API server, scheduler, etcd database and controller. These are the master components. However, Kubelet, Kubeproxy, Pod and CRI container runtime are the component of worker nodes. And theoretically, it is perfectly fine. But how these containers which are running inside the pod get the hardware resources and separate process ID and network IDs with other containers? Right. So these are the questions. How these containers can access the hardware and how the pods process ID are separate to other pods. How these magic happen behind the curtain? Let me give you one hint here. Hardware resources are being managed by one of our core component of Linux kernel that is C group and dedicated process ID are managed by namespace. This is also a Linux kernel core component. Kubernetes adopt this functionality into it. So this is C group and this is namespace. Let's explore what is C group. A control group C group is a Linux kernel feature that allocates limits and isolate the resource uses of for CPU memory, network and desk. The component which help our process ID to get the hardware resources are called C group. It is not only work as a mediator but also control how much resources a process ID can utilize. So this is not only allocate it also limit and isolate the resource uses of CPU. In Kubernetes environment C group can be used to implement resource request and limits and corresponding quality of service classes at the pod level we will cover this point when we cover the quota topic if we execute the command ls space sys fs you will observe C group directory over there here it is what we know that we have a hardware and have a network adapter, CPU, RAM and hard disk. Further, in Kubernetes, we are also familiar with pod. Pod run the container. We also learned that there is a kubelet as an agent installed on all nodes in the Kubernetes cluster, right? This kubelet uses runtime, CRI. These are the container runtime that manage the life cycle of container on physical or virtual machines. So we have different type of CRI. Container D, RunC, LXE, RKT and Creo. In short, so this is my container D. And this is my Linux kernel. And this Linux kernel has the C group. It use network, CPU, RAM and hard disk. Right. In short, what we have learned that C group help us to provide the hardware resources. Next topic is namespace. This is also a core component of Linux kernel as I said before. So now the question is what is namespace? In Linux, namespace have been a part since 2002 and over the time more namespaces have been added in the Linux kernel. So as you can see here more it means we have more namespaces not one. Container supports namespace added in 2013. This is the reason namespace is vital 
to know about it. With the help of namespaces, we can partition kernel resources, which means that one process can see one set of resources and the other process one set of resources only. We can say that it isolates the process from each other. There are different type of namespaces such as user, MNT, UTS, IPC, P, PID and NET. PID is process ID, NET is for networking. Okay. So let's suppose every Linux kernel, the first process ID is one here. So let's suppose that we have three containers running under process 4, 51, 52 and 53. One contain, container process cannot see the other container process processes. For container 51, it looked like that only container 51 is running on this host. Same as it is for 52 and same as it is for 53. So these container is looking at, it is only running on this host and it is consuming all the resources. That's it. From namespace component, we achieve privacy and security. Same as it is, we have a hardware, network, CPU, RAM and a hard disk is there. And we have a pod which is running the container and after that we have installed the kubelet which is using the container runtime. And then in CRI we are using container D, let's suppose we can use anything. For an example, we are using container D. And then in the Linux kernel, we have namespace. What namespace do? It, let's suppose for the process ID, it just dedicated for this port. And this port says that only I have the process ID is running here. That's it. Or this container, I have the network. Only this network is available for me. That's it. No one is using that network. Now, how to find the running process ID of the container, right? So we can execute the command docker container run alpine ping 8888. So we are just ping the Google IP address. And when we use grep, you will see the process ID is 290794. And this container is running, right? So when I execute the ls ns minus p and this process ID, I will see that this process ID sees numbers of other processes running here, right? The other way to find the running process ID is docker container ps. From there, I can see the container ID. And after that, I can execute the command docker inspect container id grab process id i will see the process id of this 290794 as you can see here that these are the same right and here as i said that there are multiple number of namespace available in the linux kernel and the same thing is using kubernetes and docker so as you can see here that these are the namespaces that is separated for other container net mnt ipc utc user process id c group so these are the different namespaces available here so now i hope that you understand that what is the meaning of c group and namespaces and how these resources are allocated to the container or pod